And a good fall morning to you from Dallas, Georgia. This is author C.A. Griffith. And when I'm not busy writing the uh, exciting Code of Misconduct crime series, I'm usually doing home projects. So I want to show you my grill shack. If you don't mind, we'll start with Colson. He's my buddy. My Jack Russell. Love him to death. All right, let's go and look at the grill shack. Let's do the outside first. It's on the, I placed it on the deck. Um, and it seems to be setting quite well. Like I said, it's about 11 by 12. We'll look at this side. There's my drive through window, which hadn't had much activity. I wonder if it's the food or just me, but that window right there, it, it, I bought it from an antique store, more like a flea market store here in Dallas, Georgia. It cost me $10, and you can tell it's old. Uh, my wife had gotten me the stools. One of them's out of place. Well, let's talk about the outside. The outside, the corners are 6x6 six six pressure-treated posts. Uh, the outside uh, boards are cedar. And I definitely picked the wrong time to buy cedar because the price has gone way up. Uh, this has just got a pitched roof. And that screen door, half, was a screen door. I bought it next door at an estate sale for $10. And it had like dog-proof mesh down on the bottom, so I snatched the screen out of it. I kept the mesh. And just put it up there for a half door, a Dutch door. Those two by twos you see at the top, I needed ventilation, of course. And um, But when I uh, raised the roof, there was a big gap there. I had seen someone on YouTube in uh, Great Britain, I believe. He had some of those around his post. And also the idea comes from Marietta Diner here in Marietta, Georgia except those horizontal lines are uh, neon. Kind of gives it, in my opinion, a cafe look. Come up here into the pavilion. I was going to put another antique window there. Uh, my wife suggested a serving window, which was a better idea. And what grill shack would be complete without a menu? Just printed that out. Used acrylic resin on the menu when I got it done. Same with the serving window because this gets a little wet. I didn't move my little sawhorse thing there. Learned it on YouTube as well. Pouring acrylic resin is the nastiest, stickiest substance on the planet. But when it dries, it protects the wood. It acts almost like glass. I'll go back around here. The only two things that I outsourced in this project were well, these countertops is one of them. A friend of mine, Doug Heath, here in Dallas, Georgia, who does flooring and countertops, uh, come out here and put this in for me. I wasn't going to spend that money. My wife actually suggested it. So what do you say? Absolutely. A lot of it, most of it, turned out to be mucho dinero. That's, uh, of course, Spanish for, I guess, a lot of money. I've been trying to learn uh, uh, because, uh, you know, when the invasion's complete, well, some of us will need to know that. Let's go inside. Uh, standard um, hinges for screen door and handle. Holds it fine. Just put a little top on it right here. Okay. On the inside, I mean, what would a shack be without a telephone, a payphone? And... To answer uh, any questions, it is a functioning phone. It's a replica. And uh, I thought about even running a line out here, but I'm getting rid of my hard line. But I found a thing on YouTube called Cell 2 Jack, just like it sounds. C-E-L-L, -L, the number two, and Jack. And it's just a little Bluetooth device about the size of a credit card and three times as thick that you plug in there. And whether I have my telephone in the house charging or out here, I can hook it to the Bluetooth, it will ring, and it's functional. Up here I just decided to put some 
Uh, yeah, souvenir cups I get from my favorite restaurant in Daytona Beach. Um, and I had to put a little bar in front of them as well. A lot of people put, I've seen on YouTube, put televisions in their grill shack. But since I had one in the um, pavilion, anyway, I can see it just fine and hear it from out here. The sound is down because, you know, you have YouTube is about copyright stuff. I do not have a monetary uh, channel. So I don't make any money. Uh, but one time I was in Daytona, right before I went down to Racing's North Turn, and I was taping a, a couple trying to get their RV out of the sand. And little did I know it, but Your So Vain was playing in the background, and YouTube cut me off of posting that uh, because I guess they thought I'd take five cents from Carly Simon on a 70s song. There's my uh, Weber grill. The um, material behind it is a backsplash and to keep the heat from the lid from scorching the wall or setting it on fire it is just a tin roof that I had left over from the roof itself. A little floating shelf for the microwave and a little light up there. A little under cabinet lighting going on. That's just from taking a few 2x6s before the wall was finished and extending them out. And then building it back out. The interior of the uh, shack is pine because it's cheaper. And uh, so everything outside cedar, everything inside is pine. Uh, the cabinet there, uh, 69 bucks from uh, Deep Homo, I mean Home Depot. And just made the countertop myself. Bringing back the acrylic resin. The stickiest, nastiest substance on the planet. You probably saw my Corvette hat. I like Corvettes. But I really enjoyed doing the acrylic resin. Like I said, it's like glass on there. The Blackstone grill, that's great for man, you're cooking breakfast out here and making uh, bacon. Things that you you know can't hardly do on a grill with a grill top you can do on the Blackstone. It also is a uh, air fryer and a warmer. Okay, Just got some utensils up there, some more cups, and you got to have a dartboard now outside if you're going to be standing around cooking. It's actually the regulation height and depth, seven feet, I believe, eight inches back here. Uh, bought a, a good outdoor fan. And that really helps. The time I've been using this for about five months. The times I have cooked hadn't had any smoke build up in here because of the open sides. Uh, but it gets hot, so especially down here in Georgia. So the fan is great for that. Down here, another uh, acrylic resin countertop. Some of you save stuff. Well, I do. My wife used to say, why are you saving all those tickets to ball games and concerts and those stubs and stuff? I didn't know either. I said, I'm just hanging on to them. They're all in here. I've also got the front and backs of my novels in here, just for my reading pleasure. You know, some uh, concert tickets, some ball game tickets, you know, gospel concerts business cards, so forth. Like right over here is a National League Championship series ticket that my wife's work went to. And I didn't get to go. I was at work. Got a bottle opener. And uh, as I said, the countertop. But people I've watched on YouTube for the last several months uh, gave me some great ideas. And some of the construction ideas, like when you cut the bird's mouth notches for the rafters up there, those 16 foot two by sixes, bird's notch, notch marches, or notches, excuse me, on the front and back. You know, like you need to watch several YouTubes because a couple of them I looked at, you had to have a calculator from NASA to cut the angles. And then I found one guy that had a simple way of doing it. And it was great, and I did it that way. The only other thing I outsourced was the electrical. 
I did put the lights up here and here and there's uh, lights within the trim I put in look really nice at night like I said I'll take a few uh, nighttime pictures lights up uh, excuse me lights up under the countertop and there's a row of lights at the top of that wall that you can't really see during the day I'm going to attach some uh, night photos to the video but I appreciate you watching it wasn't real it was kind of a quick overview of the shack um, but I'm pleased with it at least my wife said she wasn't embarrassed with it which is a good thing and her eyes stopped rolling the project took me from the first week of April to the last week of September and when you work in my case when I'm working or when I'm writing um, you just have weekends typically and not all the weekends are sunny and bright and warm so all right that's the tour hope that the uh, short tour gave you some ideas for your grill shack you guys and gals that grill out uh, if you have the patience you can build one there'll be some questions about price I'm gonna have to guesstimate it uh, and due to the the price of wood at the time it's gonna probably be what I did around the 4,400 uh, mark I really think if you wait till the price goes down you could do it for a third less than that um, and uh, so good luck with your project and thanks again to everybody that's good enough to post uh, their projects this wasn't a how to build as much as it, as it was ideas for your build and uh, I don't again my station is not monetary yeah you can subscribe to it if you like you don't have to I'm not begging you to I would however like for you uh, if you're a reader you like crime novels I spent 38 years in law enforcement I think they're darn good. Uh, just uh, go to my link and uh, you can sign my guest book and say, hey, I watched your video. Uh, or if you like uh, crime novels, all the links to my books are there. Uh, so God bless. And as our Amish brethren may say, I thank thee. Take care.